The pathway for myocyte contraction may be interrupted in several places. The most common significant cardiotoxic overdoses are non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers and beta blockers. Calcium channel blockers like diltiazem and verapamil interrupt the influx of calcium at the cell membrane, which can decrease heart rate and the strength of contraction. This may be mitigated by aggressive calcium administration. In addition, glucagon may help create an alternate pathway for myocyte contraction. Epinephrine or other inotropes or vasopressors may be considered as adjunctive therapies as well. For refractory cases, high-dose insulin and glucose infusion or intravenous lipid emulsion may be considered, and ultimately mechanical circulatory support may be considered for recoverable cases. Beta blockers on the myocyte block the influx of calcium through the calcium channel, but also block the increase in intracellular cyclic AMP. Again, this may be bypassed with the use of glucagon, and calcium supplementation may be helpful in overdose. Beta agonists like dobutamine, isoproteranol, or epinephrine may help offset the receptor blocking effect. High dose insulin and glucose, lipid emulsion, or mechanical circulatory support are again considered for refractory cases. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.